And Mr. Joshi, tell us when did you win your first lion? I think 2003 or 2004, and that's the time. And that was uh, a goal, two goals actually for uh, Coca Cola. And I still remember, like before that, we used to come here and uh, just ob observe. Mm -hmm. And those days, very few actually used to come from India. We used to be, um, like we meeting oh, very little, like well, many Indians today. Those days, like we felt like we used to be in a herd, like we used to be all moved together, dying together, we used to be together most of the time. And but we never used to win. Uh, that year, I I won, and that was also like uh, before that we had won, but not for a brand work. This was for the brand work, proper work. And uh, the one who gave me the award, well, one of my favorite advertising uh, creative person is uh, Dan Wyden. He was the <coughs> chairman of the jury and he actually whispered into my ears when giving me the gold lion. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see you after this. And uh, then he took me out, we sat and we chatted. And I, I cherished uh, that time which I spent with him. And post that he came to India to go off a festival mm -hmm. in Goa and uh, I did a kind of a walk, walk the talk kind of interview with him, I remember. Uh, we connected very well because uh, he loved the work. And uh, since then, well, I think uh, once understood that you're not just an spectator here, you're here to win as well. So, of course, after that, subsequently we won many, many a times here. And this year also we, we won. Tell us a little about the work that won. This year? No, the first line. The first line was, uh, you know, the, the, the famous campaign, Thanda uh, Coca-Cola. It was, it was the print and uh, an outdoor work which won here. And uh, it was about, uh, you can you can show it to your audience actually. It's about, um, you know, on a railway station, uh, uh, crate, uh, the stocked up crates of Coca-Cola are kept. And the shadow is so cool that, uh, uh, a, a coolie, a labor is sleeping in that and say how cool even the shadow is. That kind of uh, metaphorical one uh, it was. And then there were many more in the series, the barber shop and a lot of others in the series. And they all um, did uh, pretty well, not in only in this show, but many other shows after that. And also tell us how different was it when you walked into the Palais back then and now that you're an established Advertising is uh, yes, it. Uh, I think it's not changed. I when I come here or any other festival actually, so you get go there to learn. And I think uh, it's very important that you don't lose that. Every year you're trying to imbibe something new, and of course you know what you think, but you're here to learn how other people are thinking, how the world is thinking, how uh, different creative ideas are brought to life. That feeling has not changed. Uh, well, it's, it's a lot more people recognize you today, so that's that's different. Those days, you you used to recognize people today; they recognize you, uh, and and it's, it's it's a good feeling. But eventually, it's the feeling of a student which I get when I come to a wash. Even being a jury chairman twice in can. Uh, um, even when I was uh, chairing the titanium jury in. Uh, I never felt that we're not here to learn. Even if you are a jury chair, you you are actually debating work. You 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 are, you are um, and that's what is the learning experience when an entry comes in front of you and different perspectives, different points of views, and then you start understanding why I don't like this piece of work and somebody else really loves it. And we argue a lot. We, I I love in my juries. I love discussions. I feel the clarity emerges. Yeah. Also, cultural context uh, becomes clearer. Uh, we uh, in India have, uh, I think, our, our, some of our great work has suffered because our cultural context was not very clear to people. So I think uh, whenever you get an opportunity, you sort of bring that out. Mm -hmm. So that's that's been a learning experience for me. Uh, as someone who observes, or someone who has participated, or even someone when you're part of the jury. Uh, that's the core of Cannes. 
when you were uh, you know kind of growing in the industry who were the two three people that you wanted autographs of from the advertising world and who you were fan no, I think uh, those days a lot of people were there. So, uh, I have been lucky that I worked with the people I really admired. Uh, I, I really admired working um, with someone like Suresh Malik. You know, Suresh Malik had done Mila Sur Mera Tumara that time. It was very popular work in India. And uh, he took me like a son. He took me like a student. And I used to... Uh, he, he was... Uh, at the time of uh, retiring at the time and I used to go I live in his house almost you know uh, lift his bag and be with him just to and he I I feel Suresh Malik is the one who taught me how to you know I was always a musician a songwriter kind of person since my childhood and India is like that. I mean, you, in middle class India, you brought up, you don't know uh, such interests of yours, such talent of yours can actually make you earn your living. And I didn't know anyone in the creative world. So, I uh, came to advertising uh, by accident, frankly. And uh, Suresh told me and taught me uh, how, you, how to use my music, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the fact that I have uh, musical talent, how do you use it if I'm not in... Uh, in front of the sort of mic and singing or, or, or music director but as a creative director how would I use my interest and Suresh knew it very well I mean you can see that very evident in Mila Sur Mera Tumara it's just pure piece of musical idea so he taught me how to use my musical ideas my understanding of ragas my understanding of uh, you know harmony and, and instruments and compositions and lyrics and poetry and how do you use it in, in communication uh, so, just giving you one example that uh, how he taught me uh, how to use that, and I've been lucky that. Way. And uh, now uh, you have won so many awards over the years. And today, when you get that one award, like when you went up on stage last time, does it still seem as special, or is it now you know you want to relegate it to your juniors? You no, to... I love going with them. Uh, I, I I love and and I love uh, I love the fact that people who work. Or actually work on and create it are, are present here and sometimes there is a you don't know when it will win so you don't know which piece of work will win sometimes you don't have budgets you know we uh, so I, I, I this time I made sure that Vikram who has truly worked on the Bukhara campaign the, the Fit My Feet campaign with us that he, he he's, he's the master craftsman there he comes here he is uh, and the risk is, risk is that when you bring people with anticipation and it doesn't win, they feel heartbroken. Well, luckily we won a gold and uh, I, I love going to the stage on the pieces of work I've worked with. Uh, and um, I'm a hands-on creative director. I work with my team and we have a process called Manthan, uh, which I have spoken to you about earlier also that um, Thrice a year, we get together as creative people and we change our identities mm -hmm. and work on brands which we have never worked before and come up with absolutely new ideas, innovative ideas. And uh, whether this this uh, Fit My Feet or the Dabba idea this year, both are part of that Bantham process, which we churn the ideas and then we sort of designate that who will flesh it out, will bring it out, how will we present to the client and, and, and as a solution. So, um, I think uh, going, becoming create part of the creative process and then being at the time of the moment when we are celebrating, both are important. Thank you. Thank you.